Hey y'all, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. Today we're gonna to be shooting Federal Premium 55 grain Barnes TSX bullets out of the 223 Remington. And here is the box for that Federal Premium 223 load with the Barnes TSX 55 grain bullet. And there is your little deer signifier. That is what this stuff is meant for. Let's go ahead and flip it around and take a look. Here is all of your factory promo information. Feel free to stop, pause, zoom in, read all that if you would like to. Right over here is your ballistics information. And then let's go ahead and open the box up and see what this stuff looks like. Comes in your standard federal plastic ammo holders with your belt loops that no one uses. Blue lacquer sealed primers, a nice touch. Nickel plated cases, let's yank one out. And there it is, there's your 55 grain, well if the camera would focus, there's your 55 grain TSX, there's your ammo. Let's go ahead and load some up and shoot it and see how it does. And the test rifle today is my CZ527 carbine. It's got an 18 or 18 and a half inch barrel, I don't exactly recall. Chambered in 223 of course. Up top I've got a Vortex Crossfire 2 3 to 9 by 40 scope. And coming on back I've got one of my leather cartridge pouch cuffs which incidentally perfectly holds a CZ527 magazine, coincidentally enough, so it works for that as well. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would absolutely love to make you one. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you, I've got my wild boar design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And we are down at the blocks after shooting that Federal Premium with the 55 grain Barnes TSX bullet. And we did capture all three bullets. And they are all exactly the same penetration depth. You can see all three of them right there. All three made it to 21 inches. That is that is really good performance out of a 223. Coming on back to the first block, we do have some wound cavity that started to open up about the one and one and a half inch mark. Coming on back, it tapers off at about the eh, seven and a half inch mark. Pretty standard, looks pretty good. Not super explosive. Solid copper bullets typically don't deliver those super explosive wound cavities, but I am very pleased with this performance. We will dig these out and take a look. And let's take a look at the velocities for that Federal Premium 55 grain Barnes TSX load. Our high was 3058, our low was 3016, and our average was 3037. So over 3000 feet per second across the board. Doesn't come close to the 3200 that it's rated at, but I'm sure that's, you know, a longer than 18 inch barrel or, you know, maybe they sprinkled some magic on it, but pretty good. And here are those Federal Premium 55 grain Barnes TSX bullets as recovered from the gel. And we are looking at what TSX bullets do across the board, across calibers. They tend to perform very, very good. Weight retention wise, 55 grains across the board for all three, 100% weight retention. I'd really expect just about nothing less from Barnes TSXs at this point. They just perform. Expansion wise, we saw 0 0.47, 0 0.48, and 0.49 inches respectively for an average of 0.48 inches expanded diameter. Very, very consistent. That works out to 2.2x expansion. On to velocity, we saw 3058 for the high, 3016 for the low, 3037 for the average versus the factory build velocity of 3200 feet per second. So we did come in 163 feet per second slower than the factory build velocity out of the 18 inch barrel of my CZ carbine. And then penetration wise, extremely consistent, just like the weight retention and expansion, 21 inches across the board for all three bullets, very good penetration for a little 55 grain 223 bullet. And finally, kinetic energy wise, with a 55 grain bullet going on average 3,037 feet per second, 
we are looking at 1,126 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle. That is a little bit less than some of the other deer-oriented 223 loads I've tested. They tend to average around the 1,200 foot per second mark, and we are getting close to that, but not quite. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts on that Federal Premium 55 grain Barnes TSX load out of the 223. Y'all, it's Federal Premium. It's a Barnes TSX. It did what we all thought it would, which is perform incredibly across the board. 100% weight retention, incredible expansion, 2.2x expansion with perfect just flowers of death with those TSX bullets, expanded perfectly. I mean, these things just perform. Velocity wise, we did come in a bit slower, quite a bit slower than the factory rated velocity. We were 163 feet per second slow. I was shooting this out of an 18 inch barreled carbine. Now, no doubt if you're shooting this out of a 24 inch barreled varmint rig, you might see closer to that factory build 3,200 feet per second. But most people these days are shooting 223 from a 16 or 18 inch barrel. It is what it is. It's really the last thing I'm worried about. And then penetration wise, incredible performance, just like weight retention and expansion. These penetrated to 21 inches across the board, all three bullets, so consistent. And for a 223, especially a 55 grain 223 bullet, that is really good deep penetration. And then kinetic energy wise, with a 55 grain bullet going 3,037 feet per second on average, we're looking at 1,126 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle for whatever that's worth to you. So all in all, what would I use this ammo for? I think it did extremely good, especially for a 55 grain bullet in the 223. If I was going to be picking a 223 load to deer hunt with, which is what this is meant for. And there's a lot of 223 loads coming out these days that are sort of targeted towards deer hunters for whatever reason, whether you agree with that or not. If my rifle shot these well and I was in the market for a 223 deer load, I wouldn't hesitate to use this ammo. If you've used this ammo on deer, let me and everyone else know in the comments how it did for you. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests. I have some big news. Lots of you have emailed me or commented how much value you get out of my videos. And you've asked me how can you be a part of this and help support the channel. Well I got to work and now I have a way. I've created a Patreon account where you can join me in helping our fellow hunters. Click the link in this video's description and watch my Patreon welcome video, where I describe to you how your help will impact this channel and our community of hunters as a whole. And when you join me on Patreon, you'll get a lot more than I can give you here on YouTube. You'll have to go watch that welcome video linked in the description to find out the details. I'll see you there.